All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 15. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using some single digit sums as the basis for helping them solve larger problems up to 40. So the idea is, uh, if students understood that nine plus five is equal to 14, they can use that understanding to solve 19 plus five, because really, if you think about it, nine plus five is already 14, we know that, and then we just add that extra 10 from the 19, or similarly, if we know that nine plus five is 14, then 29 plus five becomes very easy because we know that nine plus five is 14, and then we're gonna add in that extra 20 from the 29. So that's what this lesson is about. Students are not going to be using the standard algorithm yet. Really what we want is for students to be developing number sense, particularly with place values. So we don't want them to just see that 29 as 29. We want students to see that 29 as really 20 and nine so that they can just do the nine plus five, get 14 and add in the extra 20. So this is really uh, developing number sense. So let's get started. So parents and teachers, this is a step-by-step -step scaffolding that are uh, going to lead our students towards that understanding that I was showing on the previous slide. For example, we're going to start with 8 plus 4, and we, we know that 8 plus 4, if we wanted to, we could bring these two down here to complete our 10 frame, so we get 12, right? So 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. And then the idea is, well, what are we going to do for 18 plus 4? Well, 18, they I love this. This is really cool. They've decomposed 18 for us to be 10 plus 8 plus 4. So we know that 8 plus 4 is 12. And then add another 10. That's going to give us 22. Now, I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to show that where eventually we're going to be leading our students towards, all right? So eventually where we're leading our students towards is 18 plus 4, and we want students to know that 18 can be decomposed to 10 and 8, that 8 and 4 is equal to 12, and then we add in our original 10, and we get 22. So this is where we want students to get to, and this is how they drew this picture masterfully. I love this. So this is our 18, and that's really 10 plus 8 is our decomposition right here. Then you add your 8 and a 4. 8 and 4 gives us 12. And then once we've got our 12, then we add in that original 10, and then get 22. Super nice. I love it. So if we look at that on here... Well, 8 and 4, it gives us 12, so let's, in fact, I'm going to circle that. 8 and 4 gives us 12, and then we're going to add in the original 20 up in the front, so 12 plus the 20 gives us 32. Now, what would that look like? Kind of where are we going with this? Uh, let's write that down. So 28 plus 4, and where we want students to go is to eventually, they, we want them to see that 28 can be decomposed to 20 and 8. We're going to add the 8 and the 4 to get 12, add in the original 20, and that gives us 32. So this is a representation of all of this right here, only it's in number form, right? And, and this is where we're g slowly guiding our, our uh, first graders to. Um, still, even this is not the standard algorithm, but it is a way to help students develop number sense as they're finding the answers, more than just blindly following a rule. And here, we've just now they're kind of removing the scaffolding of the pictures and we're going straight to just numbers. So the idea, well, we know that 5 and 2 is 7. So what are we going to do for 15 and 2? Well, 
Um, we know that 5 and 2 is 7, plus the extra 10 at the, at the front is going to give us 17. And then we can see down here, 5 and 2 is 7, plus the extra 20 gives us 27. And then lastly, we can see that 5 and 2 is 7, plus the extra 30 at the beginning gives us 37. Now, a lot of us parents and teachers, we might say, uh, hello, we're adding two. Just count on by two. 25 plus two, 25, 26, 27. And we get the answer much quicker. And that is true. Count on is probably more efficient at this point. Uh, but using count on isn't going to help with the uh, developing number sense, a bigger sense of number, especially, oh, let's take 35 plus two. And really, where we're guiding students towards 35 plus 2 is that idea of being able to decompose the 35 to 30 and 5. Then we can add the 5 and the 2, which gives us 7. And then add in the original 30, and that gives us 37. So the idea is we really want students to get to this point because this is where we're going to get number sense and the ability to take that 35 and decompose it and manip manipulate the numbers rather than just blindly follow a rule. So yes, count on is quicker in this case, but really the point of this lesson really is to start developing number sense and decomposing 35 and, and manipulating the numbers to find our answer. And the last slide is just more of the same, just slightly more difficult. We're going to start with 8 and 7. So 8 plus 7 is 15. And now, knowing that 8 plus 7 is 15, we can see that 8 plus 7 is 15 plus an extra 10 gives us 25. And if you're not sure on that, what we can do is go over here is, and we can decompose. We can kind of do it in a slightly different way. And we can say, well, 18 can be decomposed to 7 and 8. And then we can add, I mean, I said 10, 7 and 8. 18 is decomposed as 10 and 8. And now we can add the 8 and the 7, and that gives us 15. And then we add in the original 10, and that gives us 25. All right, so that's kind of where we are going with this. And sure enough, we got 25. We had 25. We knew it all along. Let's speed this one on up a little bit. And we're going to say, well, 8 and 7 is 15. Plus the extra 20 in the front gives us 35. And are the students going to see a, pat a downward pattern? Oh, 15, 25, 35, 45. Yeah, they might. And that's perfectly fine also. Uh, just a recap right here. Another way to think of this is to take that 28, decompose it to be 20 and 8. Add our 8 and 7. That gives us 15 plus the 20 way up in the front. And that gives us 35. So uh, a little bit of a Dwayne Hobecker bonus in showing where this is going uh, as, you know, why are we <laughs> putting our students through this of learning this technique? Well, it's because we want them to develop number sense. We want them to be able to take a number and decompose it into smaller parts. This is really going to be instrumental. I know this is a first grade video, but this is going to be instrumental and used in second grade with adding larger numbers. It's going to be used in fourth grade and fifth grade when we're adding fractions. Uh, parents and teachers, when we're doing something like 3 and uh, 2 fifths plus 1 fifth, we're going to want students to be able to see that, oh, we can decompose 3 and 2 fifths to be 3 plus 2 fifths, and then add these fractions together, which is going to give us 3 fifths plus the original 3, which is 3 and three-fifths. So you can see how what we're teaching in first grade is directly going to lead to what is happening in fourth grade. And that wraps up first grade module four, lesson 15, a really neat lesson that is going to lead uh, our first graders 
into not only solving kind of neat problems in first grade, but it's a technique that's going to lead directly into like fourth grade stuff.